So he returned to the railway the very next day and got to work. The flowers nearly drowned, and he had a few pruning problems, but the plants patiently waited while Liam found better ways of gardening. As the weeks rolled by, Liam began to feel like a real gardener, and the plants began to feel like a real garden. Most gardens stay in one place, but this was no ordinary garden. With miles of open railway ahead of it, the garden was growing restless. It wanted to explore. The tough little weeds and mosses were the first to move, they popped up farther and farther down the tracks and were closely followed by the more delicate plants.